Hi, my name is Hansen. I'm from the Glasgow School of Art, Singapore. Have you ever wondered how much we have been missing out on nature in today's modern society? It's time to slow our pace down and learn to appreciate the beautiful nature around us. Do you know how are human beings and migratory birds alike? Every year, migratory birds will travel around the world, taking different countries as a pit stop, where they will stop and refuel themselves with sufficient necessities before they move on to their final destination. This is exactly how we human beings behave too. Taking the airport as a location, it is a place where humans take off and transit from, to travel around the world or even to migrate to another country. It serves as a transitory area whereby passengers stop over to change their flights. Therefore, the term residents and tourists can be applied on both human beings and the migratory birds. To embark on this journey, I've chosen to explore the concept of residents and tourists. I began my research by questioning what makes a resident or tourist. In human context, it was either one is a citizen or permanent resident of a country. The term migrating brought me to venture into the animal migratory pattern. As I was searching for an ideal subject, the migratory patterns of birds caught my attention. I was amazed with my findings between the connection we humans have with the migratory birds in the past and present. With the intention of using human and birds transiting as an analogy, my plan was to create a walk-in exhibition at the airport, with a journey to discover the mystery of these terms behind a group of migratory birds called shorebirds, which have played a significant role in our human life. To complete this campaign, I included the idea of collaborating with an airline company by redesigning the air tickets, priority and baggage tags with graphic elements of the shorebirds to allow people to take notice and visit the exhibition while waiting for their flights. It is a known fact that human beings are self-centered species, but that's not to say that we were all born this way. As a human being, we protect what we love, know and understand. Therefore, with this exhibition, my intention is to allow people to find out more about these migratory birds in order to love and protect them. Be it resident or tourists, these migratory birds hold on to multiple citizenships which allow them to return from their migrations each year. They are both residents and tourists at a different point of time and place in the year. It is indeed my honour being able to contribute my part as a designer for the World Migratory Bird Day. You and I can continue to preserve this beautiful connection that we share with this migratory bird. And at the same time, benefit our future generations together through time.